Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to make an abstract melting donut in Illustrator. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content, where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. Step one, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill. I'm going to select the black color and I'm going to select the rectangle. I'm going to create a line like this. Press and hold alt, drag it to the right in order to create another, another copy until they intersect. I'm going to recolor this as white, select both. Press and hold alt, drag it to the right. Also press shift to isolate until they intersect. Press control D to duplicate until it creates a lot of copies like so. Select them all, right click, group, go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, go to windows and select the symbols and drag and drop this pattern into the symbols. Click OK, delete the pattern. Now we're going to go and select the circle, press and hold shift. I'm going to create a white circle and now I'm going to go to effects. 3D materials, 3D classics, revolve. I'm going to increase the offset a little bit more. This is pretty good. I'm going to type in here zero degrees, zero degrees, and we're going to adjust the top one. I'm going to go with 18, and I'm also going to increase the hole a little bit more to 25 is good. From here, we're going to click on the map art, and we're going to go to the symbol, select the new symbol that you created, click on a scale to fit, click OK, click OK. And from here, we're going to go to the object, expand appearance, right click on group, right click on group, right click, release clipping mask. And from here, I'm going to select this shape, press and hold shift and select also the rest of the shapes like the left and right. And maybe this one also, that's the interior part. And there's like also this, I'm going to bring them out and I'm going to delete this wireframe shape. Let's see what we got. I won't need this one anymore. I'm going to press delete and we're left with these shapes with that contains a little bit of error. So I'm going to double click on this shape, press shift plus M, or you can go and select the shape builder tool, press and hold alt, and you can delete some of the spikes. And I'm going to press shift plus M now without press and holding the alt. And I'm going to unite these together. I'm going to press and hold alt, delete this one and so on and so forth. I'm also going to need to remove these in here and I'm going to press and hold shift, select also this, press and hold shift plus M and I'm going to unite these shapes together. There you go. I'm going to double click somewhere here to release. From here, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to drag a rectangle on these black stripes. So this way we're going to create these dripping effects. And you can also rearrange it, make sure that these are going to touch each other like that. And for example, on the right side here, they are touching each other, they are overlapping. But here in this case, they are not overlapping on the left. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool, click on the center point, and I'm going to drag it up and also press shift. And as you can see in this zone, they are overlapping pretty good. And with the same direct selection tool, you can also drag these two anchor points more down in this area. So far it looks like this. I'm going to ungroup this big shape, right click on group and I'm going to select the black stripe, press and hold shift, also press the black line and I'm going to go and select the, the shape builder tool, press shift plus M and now press and hold alt and remove the shape here. There you go. Good. Now I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select the bottom two anchor points and I'm going to drag these two little circles. So it's going to make it around it. I'm going to do it separately one by one. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.